So, it all started when I spent $70 on this game. I, I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered the special edition on Steam. It's a lot of money, $70. You know, I don't make a whole lot of money. My job is my YouTube, I live below the poverty line, so $70, that's a, that's a big purchase, but I felt pretty confident going into it. You know, we all saw the E3 coverage, we all saw this game looks awesome, you know, the, the visuals are stunning, the gameplay looked unique and cool and new, and Ubisoft usually makes good games, I liked Far Cry 3. Well, the plot was hilariously dumb, but the gameplay was really fun. You know, and then the game came out. Everyone had terrible glitches. Some people were demanding refunds because they just couldn't get the game to work. I built my computer. It's a hell of a lot better than the requirements of this game. Still runs like ass. The optimization's horrible. I'm playing it about a month after it came out. So uh, the optimization's better now than it was, but it's still pretty bad. If you look at my options, in fact, you'll see uh, some of the things I just had to turn off. Like, most of these settings don't affect my frame rate at all, and then others completely annihilate it. Just, it's poorly optimized. And it's not really a next-gen game. Between all of its gameplay problems, its glitches, hell, Brandon and I, when we first bought the game, on both of our separate computers, we almost couldn't hear, and we had to look it up and find that that was a glitch that they fixed later. Now that they fixed it, the game's way too fucking loud, so I had to turn it down. I know so many people who just couldn't get the game to work, so... This is less of, less of a let's play. It's more of a quest. A journey, almost. As I, I... I thought about it. I sat here and I thought after I played maybe five missions into the game. No more than five missions into the game I've played. And I decided... This game has nice, cool new gameplay, but overall, kinda sucks. I spent $70 on this. How am I going to get $70 of enjoyment out of this video game? And I thought about it, and I took about a month off of the game, almost, because I played it pretty much the day it came out and the day after, and didn't play it again. And I thought about it, and what I've come to with, for a conclusion is that, perhaps, if I let's play the entire game, and I have as much fun as I can with the fun parts of the game, because there are fun parts. And all I do is tear down, tear apart, and bitch about every stupid thing in it. Because I love bitching. I bet you I can get $70 of enjoyment out of this video game. I bet you that I can. So at the end of this Let's Play, that is the test. You're taking the journey along with me as we figure out, can Madrot Stow, Madry Bread, can I get $70 worth of entertainment out of Watch Underscore Dogs? And I think I can. So let's go ahead and do this. Most of this plot is new to me. I haven't even met the lady that you keep seeing in the background yet. Let's see if I can get $70 worth of enjoyment out of this video game. Assuming it doesn't just completely crash my software, because you know how this game is. Let's, let's do this. I'm doing this on keyboard and mouse, but I do have a controller hooked up in front of me for driving sections, because uh, driving controls are much better with a controller. So we'll see how this goes. This is, uh, huh. Pretty brutal load time for 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'll try not to talk too much during cutscenes when people are talking. I don't like to talk over the cutscenes, but with this game, I'm finding it hard to give a shit. Who knows, maybe it turns around, I don't know. of the game is so loud compared to his voice. I don't get it. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. 
I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. So even in the cinematic shots, there are video game prompts yeah, with the X button. Security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in thirty seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians, siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. You're the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Help me. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. What? Why did that guard pick out Aiden? So the first thing our hero does is rob a bunch of people? We don't know that those are bad people. You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Got a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Wait, it said on Aiden, criminal record 11 months. How long he's had a criminal record? Because that's different than just what his criminal record is. Who labeled that? Uh, and this shit. I hate this shit. They cinematically have, like, glitchy video feeds. And this is supposed to be his dreams. So, is there glitchy- is there glitchy feed in his dreams? It's supposed to be stylized, but it looks like shit. It gives me a headache. Text doesn't glitch out like that. God, I, I hate pseudo-hacking shit. Like, I know hacking by its nature is boring to look at and you need to stylize it, but Jesus, it looks dumb. You gotta believe me, man. Who gave the order? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh, no. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. Husky, I'm good. You'll never hear from him again. Who gets a neck tattoo? What do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. I was on the other end of the call. Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Lena. Lena Pierce. How is their screen tearing with V-Sync turned on? How did they do that? I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk away please, from. Please! Please! Uh, yep. More glitchy okay, flashbacks. Boy. Alright, this is pissing me off. They said they fixed the sound thing. I thought they fixed the sound thing. Voice volume. Okay, I'm gonna turn everything else down to... Let's, let's try 70. Let's try turning everything but voices to 70. Because all it seems to have done is make the whole game louder, but the voices, so they're even harder to hear. Oh my man, just fucking kill me. Okay, that's, that seems a little better so far. Ah! How's your memory now? Did it reset my mouse sensitivity? It feels, feels like shit. Okay, here's a fun thing. 
If you don't play the game, the game plays itself for you. I hate this shit in Vegas, so I'm, I'm not gonna hit the F key. Which is this, just the instant kill button in this game, by the way. So far as I can tell. Is it? I didn't click it. You, you heard my keyboard not being clicked. Well, you didn't hear my keyboard because I didn't click it, but you know what I mean, you would have heard it. Maurice won't talk to me. Well, now the yeah, sensitivity is better. What the fuck was that? What if I put my gun? Yeah, now sensitivity is fine. It was just weird for a second. Okay. Okay. Gotta remember the controls a little bit. I haven't played this game a whole lot. Q tack. Alright, so they're building up Aiden Pierce to be one tough motherfucker that you don't fuck with. I can dig it. I can dig it. Let's, uh, continue on. I do like the animations in this Yo, game. Yo, it's shaking, motherfucker. Shit. Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. Man, it's a good thing you didn't shoot or else the whole game would be over. For two Give me my bullets. I tossed them. It, Fuck, you said you how were there bloody footprints before, like when you first got stabbed and was falling over? I'm gonna have to show you guys a screenshot. It maybe I just, I don't know. Call, and you get what you need from Maurice. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating. Yeah, there's, like there's a sense. bloody boot print Thinking under him. No, no one eight. stood there. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. And our, our buddy here is not wearing boots. No one here is wearing boots. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. What the fuck is Glad going on? Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did. I actually like oh, this yeah, plan. True story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. I don't get why he's mad at Jordy for this plan. This is a good plan. You guys, you grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice, what do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourself. C to take cover. Right, and I can hold forwards, look at something else, and click it, and I'll take cover there. I don't think there's a general crouch button in this game, so that's a little bit weird for me. Okay. I'm just gonna... Yeah, let them do their thing. another corpse! Another viceroy! Crime, then. Oh, that light is brutal. Neither of them are looking my way, though. So I'm gonna move now. Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of Mason. That was easy. Didn't need to attract either of them over there. So I do. I, do I just auto crouch when I'm near enemies? Never quite got clear on that. All right, gotta have your free running button of hold down space bar to auto jump onto everything. Yeah, yeah, let me use the camera. Okay, so this is a cool mechanic, actually. I don't think they showed this in any of the build-up for the game, but it's really cool. I can hop from camera to camera to look for things I need. Like that. And now the, uh, now the door's open. Okay, I need to... Yeah, I'm gonna take cover. Nope, oh, I think the game was auto-taking me cover there. Yep. He's not moving unless I give him a reason. You know, I think I could sneak around him. See, these are good animations. I like that. 
Uh, hold tab. Right, I forgot that. Holding tab is a weapon wheel. That's weird to me. So I was holding tab and hitting E to craft something. That also just feels weird. Games locking my cursor pretty much here. It lowers my sensitivity in this area to try and make sure I don't fuck it up. It's weird. Okay. I kind of don't want to hack it yet, but the game's making me, so... Good thing he has no peripheral vision. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk right up. A uh, game. I don't need to be in cover right now. Game. 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 Thank you. It's really cover. finicky about coming out of cover. Hey you, sir. Yeah. Apparently, no one sees me. Right now, I'm surviving by pure luck here. It's a good thing no one's back here. It's a good thing no one's looking in this direction. Just gonna run on through. No one here is turning around and seeing the crouch running man with the phone. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do it all stay again? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. With all these cops, there's gotta be one around. This is pure luck right now. Alright. Well, yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not gonna evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. Oh, but you see the one? Isolated incident in the basement. We can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Alright. Got it. Married three times at 37, really? Uh, so... Oh, I need to hack another thing over there. Oh, okay, that took me into the basement. Power breaker? Oh, and I teleported back here. Create a blackout, okay. Equipped. Press G. I'm not allowed to walk right now. Oh, now I can. Don't track me by the glow of my phone. I should put that away. I guess I can just... Door's not even open? Oh, now it's open. Come on, move. I don't want to climb this game. Thank you. Okay, I don't know how loud sprinting is, but it's telling me from here I can, so I'm guessing that won't alert them. Well, now they know you went this way, you moron. Do they even know what you look like? Where are you, Jordy? God, but they stopped doing that thing where there's a light in your face? God, would you look at how shit that looks? You can see the orbs of light around it. And the E3 trailer wasn't like that at all. In fact, when that fan made that mod to turn it back on, that, by the way, that Ubisoft has now patched the game so that mod doesn't work anymore. The mod that turned it onto E3 mode. Um... Oh, oh, oh. I, I can hide from this. Probably easier to see if I run, actually. Let me, uh... Okay, so I got cops on the map here. I can get away from this just fine. Leave the police search area. Now, it's not actually showing me their search area on the map, unlike it usually does. Unless it's that very vague blue line there. Okay, I think it's that vague blue line. I can get past that easy. They're not even coming over here. Alright, it's just past the highway. Near the water. I can do that. This is, uh, a little disappointingly easy. Not a, not a big drop gun. I'm safe. That was a bit big. 
Uh, looks like I can go this way and hop up over there. Let's hug the wall here so they don't see me from that highway. Oh no, it looks like that line might have just been... the tram? Okay, well then how big is this search zone? Can I check the map? No, the map doesn't tell me the search zone. What the fuck, game? This is not a good way to introduce me to a new mechanic. Come on, everyone stop driving, let me go. Okay, if I can go across that highway into a whole different district, Oh, that noise. Oh, wait, it's stopping? I can get on that. That fucking... Yeah, just gotta go around it. Oh, please don't take off while I'm still going for this. Oh, there's a cop car coming, too. I swear if this train starts right now. Did it just stop? It doesn't know I'm here. How would it know I'm here? Uh, 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 uh... Yeah. Well, that plan failed. <laughs> I don't think I even touched it. I think my hand might have come too close to it. What was that? Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Let's, uh, let's get out of the invisible search area. Oh! Oh, wow, game's frame rate took a dip there. Okay, well, what's that symbol over there? Map, what's, what's this? It's a car on demand spot. Oh. No? Wow, it really motored over there, but then it slowed down a lot. In fact, it stopped. It just parked. Now is it... No? What the fuck's it doing? That guy does not know how to drive. Well, what if I just stick to alleys? Am I supposed to go to the car on demand? I... I would assume. Where am I supposed to drive? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll just use the controller, thanks. I'll figure out the controls on this. So one thing I do like is they cha they show how to change it on demand. So I can just turn off my car and duck. They don't know I'm in this garage. They're playing action music like I got caught. Oops. Let me guess, I have to get caught to continue, because I got caught my first time playing, but I went so far away, like, I couldn't figure where the exit was. Alright, I'll just drive away. They have no reason yet to believe I am a criminal. Ugh, now that I'm moving at a decent speed, there's all kinds of shit popping. I might turn down the graphics even more, just because... I'll be honest, maybe I'm just blind to this stuff, but I can't see much of a difference between this game on low and this game on high. Oh, that's a police blockade? Okay. I thought that was something I was supposed to go to. Well, apparently they didn't see the guy just pull a Yui in the middle of the street just ahead of them. Okay, there's a guy behind me. Let's, uh... Let's not park like an asshole, first of all. It's a decent park job. Okay! They're checking the overpass. Well, I'm not near there at all. How do they know to check this road? Whatever, they're not gonna see me. They'd have to pull into the parking lot. How do they know what I look like? They didn't catch me in there. Am I wanted? Because if so, why didn't I wear something fucking else when I went in there? Okay, now a grid has appeared, or at least one that I can see. Okay, well... <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, you guys just keep on driving. Oh, would you guys... Uh, seriously, guys, I don't want to kill you. You just in you're innocent. Whoa! Well, apparently no one heard that. Oh, these people did. What? Dude, I don't want to kill you. <laughs> wow, the cops are driving out of the search zone. 
Well, I guess they're- I guess it's part of the search zone if they're searching it right now. Whatever. Kinda don't wanna wait for you guys. Where is this guy hiding? Anyone see him? You just saw me. Ugh, come on. <laughs> are those three gonna run into the street and wave down the cops? Because they know where they are. I mean, sirens are going off. Really? Really? They're not immediately rushing to the sort of location where the screaming people just ran from? Are those people not... I thought they were going out there to wave down the cops. And you're telling me this game is fucking next-gen Ubisoft? I think they even did that in GTA V. Mind you, this game is a lot more low-budget than GTA V, but this game didn't have a small budget. It's still AAA. So if I go through here, is it just instant? Escape successful. I needed this. Can I just drive right by this police officer now? Finally got the goddamn trigger man. Just need to break through. How? Whoops. Well, police are in pursuit now. <laughs> Didn't mean to kill anyone. Uh, no, I don't want to kill you. Ah. Uh, I was trying to I want to do this playthrough without killing civilians. I want to be a fucking hero here. And I started the game by robbing people, but still. Okay. Traffic light. Uh, yeah, so first thing I do there is switch the traffic light. Like, how that's the way I escape the police, is I change the traffic light so all kinds of people will die in horrible car accidents. But that doesn't get me citizens killed points. Only hitting them directly does that. Tunnel looks nice. I'm pretty far ahead of them. They're really still in pursuit? Okay. You may notice I turned off- Whoa, whoa! Game's stuttering is fucking with the controls. Not exactly being responsive. Yeah, definitely need to lower that. Oh, I got experience for that, that's nice. Really? Do I really need to mark that off on the map? I'll do with my keyboard. Why do I need to mark off my hideout on the map if it's my next objective? Oh, it's far too. Okay, well I guess we'll have a bit of a discussion while we drive to it. Few stupid things happen there. Not too bad. I think that um, evading the police has a lot of potential to be really cool in this game. But I really want to see where they go with the character. Like, I'm curious, are they going to try and portray Aiden like he's a hero? Like, as, as in, like, not him becoming a hero. I can see that, maybe. But that he's currently a hero. And he's, like, someone who's a good person. Because, like, the mechanics they give you, like, understand, like, how good or bad you are in a lot of sandbox games kind of depends on what the player does. But the recommended ways through these situations is, like, you know, change traffic lights and you see them all ram each other and get hurt. Like... How many people died in those crashes, do you think? And you get, like, evil points if I run people over. I'm trying to avoid running people as over, as you could see before. Oh, this stuttering is really bad. I'm gonna lower the settings way the fuck down for the next time I record. Cause, like, I don't care how the game looks, I care how it plays. And the stuttering, when you're driving, you see that? It fucks with your controls, because... You're just going along, and then it stops for a second, and then it overcompensates for the controls you were doing before. Terribly optimized game. I play way more intensive games than this, that look better and have more going on, and they run at a perfect 60 frames. This game is so poorly optimized. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Alright. Uh, why did someone gasp? I was just pulling into a fucking lot. I always hit hide in car reflexively. Alright, back to the keyboard. Do I have my phone out? No, you just took it out for a second, okay. I don't like to hold it out, it clutters the screen. I know I can get money for it, but you know.
is... Where the fuck's my computer tower? You gotta walk away from this, man. Why are you sitting here? He's coming, right? Not like last time. Jackson, I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. Look at all this, that mess of cables. Dude, don't step around there. Why is there so much smoke in your house? Is that supposed to be dust being picked up by the projector? Because that's not how... <laughs> God, cliche. That's not how projectors work. It looks like you were smoking in here. Or you're like, you got a meth lab in here or something. Why did I hack my own machine? Our phone finding Maurice was correct. We gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both went in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. Oh, wow, that's appalling right there. Game? I'm not allowed to walk until I go in here, okay. Gage and well, it was the one you were highlighting, so there, I can now open gates and garages. I guess that's a necessary one. I'll go into these in a minute, but before I do that, reflections uh, do not exist in this game. I can think of so many games, so much older than this, that have actual reflections. This game does not have reflections. Even if you look at buildings' windows with reflections turned on the highest... Wow, it's really bombarding me with shit right now. If you turn on reflections to the highest and you drive by buildings, you'll see this beautiful reflection of streets and lights and stuff. But if you actually stop your car and look at them, and then turn around, you realize it's just a picture they overlaid in. It's not actually a reflection of what's behind you. You can see the reflection of a highway and turn around just to see a brick wall in some windows. I'll show that off later if I get a good chance. It's pretty funny. But yeah, why do I need to hack my own stuff? Guess just to teach me it exists. It's not intercepting audio, it's my fucking laptop. So part of what I got, I think it's one of the only things I got for my for pre-ordering, is uh, I got some extra clothing. I think this might have been one that I got. But I started looking through them and I realized something. These all look like shit. The only good-looking one I start with is the default one. They've got, like, dorky hats and just... Ugh, oh, they're so lame. The only good one's the default one. I paid extra money for this. I guess that's personal preference, but still. Jesus. Alright. If you guys enjoyed this episode, the whole Let's Plays playlist, where you can uh, marathon this thing, is in the description, as well as uh, I put on screen at the beginning of the video. So if you guys enjoyed this, you can watch it there. This, uh, get the feeling this will be a train wreck. On the next episode, we're going to have a bit of a nap with shit all over our bed. Don't know why he decided the bed was a good place and not perhaps beside the bed. I don't know. Aiden doesn't seem like the smartest man alive. Until next time, have a nice day.